Greetings! Welcome to my channel. I'm your in Theodore Francis Green Airport in Providence in Rhode Island. Thank you to my subscribers. Now, watch this. YOLO. You only live once. 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 Behind me is like a school dorm dormitory. You see? There's uh, here the Emery and Woolly Halls. 202 Meeting Street. Built in 1963. So these are school dormitory for students. Remember, Brown University is one of the most prestigious universities in the whole wide world and in the United States. So students don't live here, so they need a place to stay. Of course, the tuition fee is high. If you got a scholarship from the athletics department, you, you're free tuition fee. But of course, some of the amenities like boarding and lodging, food, books, um, school supplies you need so you have to pay for it so in order to uh, help with the expenses so you you don't need to get an apartment which is more pricey so you can some students just stay on dormitories like this it's very old because it was built in 1963 but it will help them survive uh, college life and uh, how expensive private education in the United States if you want to have a privileged education, if you have to have a prestigious education. So this is still part of Brown University campus. This may be a much recent dormitory. This one here. Let's get near. So we are in the living quarters of the students here. So this is called the Alumni Hall, 194 Meeting Street, built in 1926. So you see, this is very old, but it is well-maintained building. Maybe some students live here in the alumni hall. And then this building, we will find out what is this building. It's a cold, rainy weather today. Here in Brown University campus, So this is Pembroke College. So this is one of the faculty or colleges where students have to learn. So founded in 1891, this building, which with six students, the Women's College in Brown University was formally established in 1896 and renamed Pembroke College in 1928. The first women to receive degrees were Anne Tilling Hans Whedon and Mary Emma Woolley, 1894. In 1971, the merger of Pembroke College with the College of Brown University was completed and coordinated the education gateway to code education. The tribute is a gift of 1685 Pembroke alumni, their families, and their friends. So, before women is not allowed to study here in Brown University. So Pembroke College paved the way in 1928 to assimilate women students here in an all-male college, Brown University, formerly called Rhode Island College. In 1764, it was called Rhode Island College, then it was renamed after that, after the revolution, some years, 
as Brown University. So let's go to this. So this is part of Pembroke College where they merge with Brown University. Engrave on the staircase. Engrave on the staircase here. So this is part of Pembroke College before and it was merged with the uh, Brown University engraved on the staircase. So before the Pembroke College is an exclusive women in college and it was merged with the all male Brown University and now Brown University is co-ed. Both women and men are allowed to study here. Good morning, welcome to my channel. You see, Pembroke College, you see women, you see some students of Pembroke College, they're women. So, Brown University, it is one of the 13 original colonies around Rhode Island. It's one of the 13 original colonies, and it is the third largest city in New England. Providence, the capital of Rhode Island, is, is the third largest city of New England. So you see here, this is part of maybe the dormitories or part of the dormitories of Pembroke College. And some of the classrooms are inside also. So it's now raining, raining again here. This is a very cool building. So what is this building called? Here it's called the, you see here, it's called the Metcalf Hall. This building is called the Metcalf Hall. So let's go up and see, see this hall. You know in the United States, the buildings are turned into colleges. Buildings house the colleges and the colleges are turned into, are, in, are named into halls. Named after famous men and women who contributed to the legacy of the university or the research institution. I hope you are enjoying my channel. If you want to see many of vlogs like this, uh, campus tour, university campus tours, just hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to comment, if you want to comment down below and share this vlog so I can create more vlogs like this. This is Andrew Luis TV. Greetings from Pembroke College here in Brown University in Providence City, the capital of the state of Rhode Island. YOLO, you only live once.